In the ever-evolving world of resto mods, there is another. It looks like a BMW Z8 Coupe, but it isn't. You're about to hear about it, but first, you're about to hear it. So hello and welcome to the inside of the Smith Vehicle Engineering Aletha. thing isn't it that's the thing so it's a cool idea so the two Smith brothers Case and Willem have worked in the car business for a while they're like the Z4M they've worked at specialist places they're good engineers love the way the Z4 drives big sports car fans love the way the old Z8 looked came as a coupe though, did it? So they thought, well, is it the time? We're still young, we've still got some enthusiasm, still got some flexibility and freedom in our lives to do something special and make our own car. And this is it. And it is, it's really special. It's really special. Mostly, I will grant you, that is down to the look of it. And then, there is the sound of it. That 4.4 litre BMW V8, which has been turned up with a very loud exhaust and an engine management system that puts it in kind of M3 GT S mode. The Alita's V8 starts out as a 4-litre V8 from the E92 BMW M3, so that's 2007 onwards, but it gets GTS-like additions, so it's now 4.4 litres, and it makes 448 brake horsepower at, get this, 8200 RPM and 341 foot-pounds. Smith says it could also offer this car with straight six, which would be cheaper, but maybe not different enough from a Z4M, and not special enough either. And after hearing this, I think I know what they mean and it's so nice. Now, you may hear some creaks. This car is a prototype, so I've got some creaks in the chairs and stuff like that. And there has been some, criticism would be overstating it, I think, a bit, but there have been some people who, who look at the outside and go, that looks a million dollars. They look at the inside and go, well, it looks like Z4. I mean, the reason for that is that if you put bespoke aftermarket things in a car interior, you'll probably not going to build them as well as BMW did in the first place. So it's difficult this isn't it? It is, it is difficult because it does feel quite Z4-y in here. But as Philip was saying to me earlier, he said, well you think of the gear stick. This is a, a really nice leather gear stick. It's the right size, it's the right shape. You can put an aluminium one in. It might just look a bit blingy. It'll be really hot in the summer, it'll be really cold in the winter. If you've got slightly sweaty palms, it's all loose and slippery so actually aren't you just better off better off with this thing so that's the rub really um, it is reasonably apart from a few finishes of materials differences here and there it is reasonably Z4ish inside how much does that matter well not that much to me so it drives through uh, the six-speed manual gearbox, which is very nice. And then there's a mechanically... Uh, oh, two little birdies, don't get run over. And then there is a mechanical limited slip diff at the back. Um, so it's it's a road car, not a track car. And it's a very old school uh, way of doing things. It's, you know, it's got a big engine out the front, the, the rear wheels are driven, you sit quite close to them. And it's a really heady, lovely experience, a sort of muscle car noise, but with a bit more poise and finesse than a big, burly muscle car. You know, it does feel like a, a sports car, probably a bit too angry to be called a real GT car, but I'm sure you could use it over distance. You know, there's quite a nice duality of purpose to the engine noise. Sometimes it's quite sort of smooth and woofly, like this. And then sometimes, it's very angry like that. So, there it is. It's actually a fairly straightforward proposition in the, you know, in the great scheme of things, in the great scheme of these, it's a bit of a sort of new 
trend, I suppose, isn't it? Is you know bespoke, limited volume, high end variants based on uh, everyday sports cars, or you know everyday is a bit. Maybe you wouldn't call a Porsche 911 an everyday sports car. I don't know. Maybe you would. But anyway, it is a thing. This is another one. It's really good. There are some things to change. They're still trying to sort out some bushings at the front. You may have heard a bit of a clonk here. And if I go with some cat's eyes, there's a bit of a clonk. There's a bit of kickback through the steering. They're still just trying to uh, tweak some bushings at the front. But by and large, and they're also working with um, K&W on some dampers. It's got uh, two-way adjustable dampers all round. So they're still doing a bit of tweaking. But by and large, it's an engaging. And also, the power steer, this power steering uh, pump uh, is off an old M5 and it makes the steering quite light and they think actually they wouldn't mind it a little bit heavier. I got that at first but actually on twisty switch back rows like this actually having that sort of light responsive steering is very very nice. So I don't know, swings and roundabouts. But it's a, it's a straightforward proposition. It is a Z4 shell with a very special engine and an unbelievably special body for Three hundred fifty to four hundred fifty thousand dollars, depending on what engine is uh, in the front. I really like it. I really like it. This is still a prototype, effectively. They think they might try and build a couple of dozen, but the short of it is, it's not this. Oh, we're only going to build so and so. We're only going to build so many. No, if you want one, put them up. They'll they'll gladly they'll gladly sell you one. They want to make one. They want to make your car. And if I had the wherewithal. I might let them make one for me. It's lovely. It's really, really lovely. And they're really nice. And people buy from people. They are proper, proper driving enthusiasts. Loads of time for them. Loads of time for this car. So thanks for joining us for this little short-ish uh, skit in a car. I'm over here, actually, in the States. I've just tr tacked on another couple of jobs onto the end of a Range Rover launch, whose video you will find elsewhere on the channel, along with many other videos and I'd love it if you subscribed or clicked a like icon because it gives me that warm fuzzy feeling inside. Genuinely does actually. Genuinely like it when people like the video. It's so nice. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Hopefully in something just as exciting as this. But there's a very strong chance it may not be.